Assalamu alaikum guys, I'm Shah Nawaz and I'm here at Samana Developers. Today I want you to meet the legend and rising star of Dubai real estate, Mr. Imran Farooq. Assalamu alaikum sir, how are you? Hi, Islam ji, how are you? Sir, thank you very much. First of all, uh, a lot bundle of thanks for giving us this opportunity. I know you're a very busy person. No problem. But you gave us this time to come and interview you, so I'm very grateful for that. So, uh, there's a lot of uh, you know, intrigue about you going on, especially in, back in our country because uh, you know of all the you know things you have done great over here in Dubai so there's a bundle of questions which came also from my clients as well and uh, personally myself so you know I would love absolutely. to ask them absolutely so so let's move on so the first question is uh, you know we all want to hear your story how you started off in Dubai and your entire journey there must be a lot of storytelling right from go you know so many companies you have uh, on your back once I saw your profile and now the Samana developer's journey. So how did it all begin and how did you end up here? Well, it's a pretty long story because... Uh, uh, so we have time. Uh, yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> we moved to Dubai uh, when I was in grade 8 back in 1989 when Dubai was a very simple city having Maktoum Bridge, Chandigarh Tunnel and World Trade Center was the tallest uh, building of GCC and that was the only building on Sheikh Zayed Road. And then we moved on into businesses, did Alhamdulillah lots of businesses, we are a group of companies, uh, multiple uh, directions and Samana Developer happens to be our largest uh, business. Uh, as uh, you were asking me just before the recording that how did we become a developer, basically we were, have been a large scale real estate buyers and uh, we have seen some disappointments, I'm sure you know the kind of experience, uh, delivery delays, uh, quality commitment and things like that. And then we decided that enough is enough, it's time for us to sell our large portfolio, become a developer and do this for business and also for our rental portfolio. And perhaps that is the reason we have always been focused on quality because at the end of the day we are a co-owner uh, also of uh, a, a portion of the building and we, have, we know that how important it is uh, uh, to pro provide appliances, greater quality, greater uh, owners association uh, after management. the building is delivered, the management and which improves your rental curve, right? And Airbnb has always been at back of our mind and Alhamdulillah, all our projects yeah. attract the Airbnb We have customer. kind of stolen your idea as well, right? So <laughs> at Imlaq, we are also trying to do that in Pakistan. That's where, you know, we kind of uh, renaissance together. And uh, I love that idea and I love that. Uh, I personally have, you know, I've taken you as an inspiration myself, you know, seeing your success over here and stuff and things like that. So personally, I got inspired myself and um, once I talk to you. So that was all of, a, you know, anyone who can dream of becoming a developer and an entrepreneur. I think you are an icon and legend for them. And it's not just my words coming from my heart, right? So it's not just something like that. Sir, what do you, how do you rate Dubai, right? So you have been in Dubai for a very long time. And for a lot of people, you know, it's, it's like Dubai casts a spell on the people, right? And the people who come over here, they usually don't want to go back. They, they, you know, they love Dubai. It's just multiculturalism or, you know, and so many nationalities as you were just telling us. So what makes Dubai so unique in the world? Everything, I think, everything about Dubai is great. We are a very safe city, right? Crime rate is next to none, right? Negligible crime rate. Uh, families uh, uh, walk around the cities late night. Absolutely, you won't be worried if your wife and family is on the street 3am enjoying the uh, in, enjoying the walk at downtown or any part of Dubai for that matter. And uh, so because if the safety, uh, I'm sure uh, we all have come back from Europe or anywhere from vacation and you don't wear your watch. So that's not the situation in Dubai. Your watch could be $100,000 or $2 million. You're not worried. You enjoy your lifestyle. We have uh, one of the best hotels in the world, right? Uh, one of the best buffet lines, restaurants, top restaurants in the world. And uh, Dubai just keep appealing to more and more nationalities because uh, we are ready for to adopt them, right? Uh, there are uh, slightly under 200 nationalities living here. And uh, I think it's His Excellency's vision for connecting 
uh, Dubai with uh, uh, the fly Dubai and Emirates with any international airport, I think they're already 85, 90 percent of uh, uh, their target. So if any country has an international airport, and if a country has three airport or four airport, Dubai will connect them internationally. So that, that's a vision. And that is increasing the number of tourists to Dubai. And once people come here, they get a shock. They get a cultural shock. They get a positive shock. And there is a conversion, to, uh, which is happening on a regular basis. Combined with this, a golden visa, which has been great. You get 10 years residency for investing. Must only. be the you know, area of interest being an immigration consultant as well with the past, a golden ab visa. Ab absolutely. And plus uh, two, uh, 2 million dirhams investment into Dubai, which is tax-free, hassle-free, easy to manage your properties. And with the Airbnb and all, you can, you can improve your rental return from 6 7% to cl close to double digits. So all those things have been a uh, contributor to Dubai's su uh, success, right? And uh, now with His Excellency vision of making it a uh, hub for healthcare also is going to add the numbers uh, to the next level. Right, sir. So how do you see Dubai in the next 10 years or 20 years? I think you know, they have also given a 2040 VN as well. The, uh, they're uh, developing various segments of this uh, city as well. And uh, how do you see how successful are they going to be? And is Dubai going to be twice as big by 2014? I think all targets set by His Excellency Sheikh Mohammed, the King of Dubai, he's always achieved it and he has achieved it before time. So when I read the article that they're going to double their population by 2030, I was actually shocked because I thought they're going to move uh, much faster. And I believe that the uh, that the, uh, the population has to increase because the connectivity is better and the way they're growing their free zones and uh, the way the companies are coming in and gold, uh, golden visa demand is increasing, I think it should move faster. I think there is a constraint. There's, there aren't enough properties to live to achieve that vision mm -hmm. and probably that could be my only explanation. So that's where Samana is going to come in. So how do you <laughs> see Samana, you know, putting in all that effort in the new Dubai which is coming into existence, right, the more modern version of it in 2030. So how do you see Samana being part of that and what are your plans? For well, that? we are playing our role. We are the top 10 developers of Dubai and uh, we're doing well. Every three weeks to 25 days we have a, have a project and the market responds very well. In about uh, three to four days' time, we're seventy. And almost a sold. billion dollar of sales this year. Yeah, that's right. That's the. So that's uh, a, that's yeah. a, that's a, you know, a, a big mark achieved by Samana. You know, that's that's wonderful. So uh, you want to keep on growing in a similar fashion, or you just want to retire sometime? You know, like I'm happy now. No, I don't, I don't believe in retirement. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 doesn't exist. <laughs> okay, that's wonderful. We would love to you yeah. know see you there yeah. and see you prosper and Dubai prosper and Samana prosper. That's our vision as well. Thank you very much. Uh, I think you have already explained that you know uh, you're launching approximately every project every 25 days. That's right. right? And uh, should we expect deliveries on time every time? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, uh, the lands are paid up, escrows are there in place for all the projects. Uh, recently, we have increased uh, the down payment from 15% to 20%. That improves the health of the project also. And uh, we all, uh, run a forward cash flow. So there's not a single project in Samana Skitty which does not have 12 to 15 okay. months uh, forward cash flow. So if there is That's a crisis, right. we, we have reckoned the crises are not more than the peak of the crisis is never more than 12 to 18 months, right? And uh, because of that, if we have a forward cash flow of 12 to 15 months, that means if nobody pays, we still continue building. And if nobody pays, then we can... But that you, you did that in COVID as well, right? Absolutely. I remember. You, exactly. You're the only developer who was able to do construction and do and deliver it within the COVID time. Frame. Absolutely. One of the projects, Samana Hills, was 4.88% when we were sitting in a lockdown of 45 days, it was a tough lockdown. Nothing was allowed for, uh, I think, 10 days. Then they allowed the construction worker. And we have dealt with various challenges, like money is available to build, but the labor cannot reach because the health and safety reduced the bus capacity from 100% to 70%, next time to 50% to 30%. And that's where we figured out that, okay, it's gonna cost us more, but it's time for us to live up to our commitment. And that's when we introduced the night shift 
and uh, uh, taking care of COVID. We dealt with uh, COVID uh, at the site also. So we have gone through issues, but Alhamdulillah, we were supposed to, uh, we, we, we were able to deliver that project completely on time and the other project also continued on time. And as I said, any developer in 2023 is any pr uh, prime developer in 2023 is growing 200 to 250 percent. We are growing 600 percent because the, even the real estate brokers are convinced that my money is safe with Samana and they are investing their additional funds with us. So that's how much the trust uh, we is have. with Samana. Yeah. And that's that's a phenomenal growth. And uh, I have seen that myself. I, I remember, you know, back in 2019, when I, once I was introduced to Samana and I was like, I'm very sorry and I apologize for that. I was like, OK, you know, they're still growing. I just want to wait and see, you know, if they're going. And the last assist I was seeing, you were almost there, uh, you know, uh, amongst the top 10 and a billion dollar in sales in just one year. So that's a wonderful achievement. And Thank you I much. hope and I pray that you be number one one day. And uh, I think that's not a far-fetched idea for someone like you. I think that's that's what you actually aim for. You maybe you know you. Are, no, I, <laughs> you know. I I I uh, I think there are uh, tough players like Imar on the top uh, three horizon. So we'll be aiming for top five. We need, <laughs> yeah. uh, we need to be reasonable with our targets. Yeah. But inshallah, thanks for your best. How Samana is different from other companies which are working in the real estate industry, and you have a unique infrastructure sort of. So how do you come up with that idea, and why uh, you are developing that way? I think we have uh, been thinking out of the box, right? And uh, we have been uh, innovative with introducing a private swimming pool. And we believe in resort style living. And that is given us an edge, right? Because for an under million dirham, you are getting the luxury and facility of a five star hotel without paying 30, 40, 50 dirhams maintenance charges. You know, so that is the big win and combine that with the easy payment plan of one person that has been a, a killer combination. So I think this is where we have done well with the what we are delivering for the price, uh, small price we charge you and then delivery on time. So all these combined factors have uh, have made us uh, it's like a for luxurious project being delivered uh, you know at a much affordable price. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, because yeah. imagine for a million dirham. You get what extra can you get in a five star hotel? Yeah. Right. Obviously. And you've seen those podiums and the uh, size. And that's where the Airbnb can become handy because when they are comparing, the, uh, when their property is being compared with any other property which is box style property and it's straight and with the limited, with a swimming pool or limited facilities, that's where the Airbnb. Uh, operators score better with Samana properties and that's and exactly great. you know that's what that's my uh, you know field of research as well and you know these resort side living that's obviously obviously very attractive for consumers who are coming for short terms right so I think that's where Samana has touched the hearts and minds of millions and that's why it's going that way so sir um, one of the you know a typical question is a lot of people, you know, once they talk about Dubai, then, you know, they really don't forget what happened in 2007, 8 and stuff and things like that. Although, you know, with my analysis, I don't see that happening that, but how is it different right now, the way Dubai is growing? Because as a real estate developer investor, this is one of the biggest concerns people have. So how do you think and how can you make them feel comfortable if they are investing here in Dubai? Don't play casino with properties. Come, yes, that's come, the best answer. <laughs> come, come build a rental portfolio, right? Exactly. We are a serious uh, city. We are an internet global city. We, we need to be compared with global city. Our rental income is double of what you can get in New York, London. And tax free. And tax free, uh, hassle free. It's completely hassle free, tax free. You know, you try to rent an apartment in London. Right, you will see the. Uh, you need to engage a lawyer and the, the, a different kind of uh, procedures. There are long protocols, right? So what I'm trying to say, Dubai is hassle-free, tax-free. Just come and build a rental portfolio. Don't play uh, the play chips, right? So if you want to pay 10% down payment and 20% down payment, and tomorrow you want to flip the property and market uh, swings a little bit, you won't be able to handle it. So that's what I always suggest all my clients uh, serious in fact we avoid bulk sales because of the same reason because we are very comfortable dealing with the end users because in case of crisis they don't want to lose 30 percent 
and especially when we know we are going to build, right? So if we are going to build and you have paid 30% and the market drops 10-15%, you're going to hold on with your position. We all know that properties get sick, they never die. Obviously. It's as simple as that. 2008, anybody who was not playing casino did not lose, right? Mm. Their property value recovered and the rental dropped only 30% for one or two years and then you know the, the same Dubai. Can you imagine anything what you bought in 2007? Today, those prime property it has grown 300%. Hmm. Right? So and along with the rental income, they have been given for the last 10, 14 years. Yeah. So, so that's how it is. Basically, you have to invest in property for the, what it really means for, not just for short-term gambling. I think that's something which everyone has seen all across the globe. Because uh, personally, I don't think so. Cycles are happening just in the way. Cycles are happening in states. Cycles are happening everywhere in the globe. In all the countries, there are real estate cycles. Real estate goes up. Real estate comes down, and that mindset is always there. And Dubai obviously is, uh, you know, has gone through as well. And I think rental income properties, where rental is tax free, eight to ten percent, twelve percent rental income. I think that's a wonderful that's place to be. So, what to add to what you're saying? 2008 were not Dubai bond crisis, they were US crisis and obviously we are a global city. So we would go up and down with the global trend, right? Uh, but going back to the same thing, the, the property drop was in Dubai, in London, in New York and anywhere where pe people have, had their fully paid up property or they were sorted with the installment, they never lost money. They never lost money. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where rental, uh, I've always told people that the two most important words in the world of asset management is cash flow. Absolutely. So as long as the cash is flowing in your direction, not away from you, you're fine, whatever, wherever you buy the real estate. True. And coming to that point, you know, um, you have referred to Airbnb models and stuff like uh, so you have obviously researched and done your research at that and you have launched a company called I think Samana Homes or Samana Holidays. Samana Holidays. So uh, what's the purpose of Samana Holidays sir and uh, how is it going to profit the people who are investing with you? Basically it's, it's, it's our extension to give a customer service right where a lot of people say yes I know I want to do Airbnb because I fly to Dubai three times a year and rest of the time period I want to keep my property Don't positive that, yeah. cash flow as you said right and uh, they have hassle of I don't know what furniture to put I don't know how to advertise my property I don't know what rate to select because people may not be tax savvy so it's it's so we have created saying you know what this is Samana holidays you got your property just inform them block my property from 1st of uh, September till 15th of September after that you can put it on rental till 30th of November and then put it to December, I'll use it for myself and so on and so forth. So that way you have your property which is working for you. It is fully Airbnb ready. So that means it helps you also. It got the microwave, it got the cutlery, it got the fully furniture, fully functional. And if anything goes wrong in your property, it's not your responsibility. Is the Samana Holiday account manager is going to fix it because he needs to keep your property ready 365 days a year. Or if there is a downtime, the, uh, the, they will fix it at the best rate. So it, it is a much more hassle-free way of fully owning your property and partly using self, uh, yourself and partly managing. Using it for cash flow as well. Exactly. Right? You can use so. it as well. And if someone just don't want to use it, right? so if someone has multiple properties, so they can go for Absolutely. Two to five days. And yeah. that. There's some uh, you know buildings already which are, are, are we working there on the, in this model yet or uh, we're going to work on the uh, buildings which are coming? Yeah, yeah. so we're open for all, all the models because it's just a extension of our service. So sir, uh, I've seen the payment plans. They're very, very interesting, right? So. Uh, we have a rental guarantee model, then we have, look, you know, a five years plan model, then there is a post possession for five years, right? So that you get possession in three years and then you, how are you doing that, right? And you get your, you're paying off till the eighth year, five years after the possession. So how are you able to achieve that? How do you achieve, ensure cash flows in that property? And uh, how is that coming up for the people and what interest do they have, you know, going on in such properties and such long payment plans? Basically, we have built up our ball game, right? We have been uh, initially into uh, selling properties without payment plan, then we moved to the payment plan. 
uh, five years and now recently we have taken the eight years payment plan and uh, because we are delivering property constantly and there is that one person coming for next three years from those payment plan we are uh, utilizing that cash flow to support our new customers purchase so that helps us sell more because affordability is better right with the payment plan so imagine if i tell you to clear 70 person in a span of next 30 months versus i tell you that there's a eight years payment plan in the property pay one person per month so there are multiple advantages number one your buying decision is faster right number two you as an owner let's say you book a unit for uh, 500,000 uh, uh, dirhams you're never ever gonna pay that price because your tenant is gonna pay your rental income right my estimate is if you buy a property worth 500,000 you would recover at least 200,000 or 180,000 from your rental income so your net actual buying price is 320,000 so that also helps uh, improve your buying decision and thirdly is that this is helping uh, us grow our books when we are uh, 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 targeting a new high of a billion dollar as you said so that's that helps our sales so it's kind of a cash flow right so because uh, the property which you have already built they're giving you one person so that it's helping you in the next property but initially obviously there's a capital involved from your side to initially which is already, already done already it's already, already done. sorted so that's wonderful and, and mind you we cannot open an escrow unless land is fully paid up land is fully paid up so that's all of the things you know rira is doing to make sure that uh, things like 2007 8, 8 do not happen over and over again so uh, sir you know uh, one last thing which i really want to ask you as what do you think and what is your uh, you know message to all the people who are, want to invest in real estate right in dubai and uh, if you want to tell them and guide them what to do and uh, uh, you know what can make them make the better choice you know that would be lovely because you have such an experience so we'd love to hear what advice do you have for us my advice will always be uh, come in for long-term investment don't try to speculate uh, with, uh, with property as I always say don't make a casino out of properties right and if you're in for uh, if you want to earn that rental income Dubai is the best place I am a uh, global investor myself I invest into UK USA Portugal and various part of the world and I can tell you the rental income uh, our rental income by far is the best is the best yeah so thank you very much Amanda. that's such a uh, lovely gesture to have us here and give us this precious time I know you're a very busy person and uh, inshallah I hope you know the people will get what they're looking for inshallah. and uh, you know you're welcome it will be a wonderful experience for you're all welcome us. thanks for your time inshallah yeah. we wish all the best thank you very much all right take care take thank care. you thanks